Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this special session with our first lady as Peter. And we are very honored to have Kasia here from Poland again. Um, just for everyone knowledge, uh, Kasia is the head of business analysis in her current company, as well as an experienced product manager, digital professional, and an owner of a PhD as well. So, Kasia, do you want to say a few words? Pleasure to be here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you have said already everything about my role. Um, I work in this profession almost 15 years. Uh, as we discussed, I have a PhD degree uh, from computer science. So I do have a little of a bit of a technical background, but more my role is sort of combining technical and business uh, together. So, and, and we will be speaking about it, I think, during this uh, discussion. Perfect. Perfect. So let, let's let's dig into that. So definitely we are going to talk about a very important role today in any organigram, any structure, any philosophy of software delivery. It's not just on the developers, but just on the QA. But we have the most and what I often refer to as the brain, which is our bees. You know, when we look at it today, so for you, if we can start with that first one, what's the real role of a BA today? How do you see it? Being the head or the guild boss mm -hmm. of the so what? How do you see the role of the year? And that's actually a very important and sort of tricky question because it used to be explained the role of a BA. It used to be explained as a bridge between IT and the business. I don't like the definition at all because the business doesn't have to have a bridge to IT because some of the businesses already have an IT. Uh, within their structure, for example, yeah? So it's not true that the business analyst is speaking with the developers and with the business and they are, he, he, he or she is translating one information to another. That doesn't state anymore. For me, the business analyst role is more a voice of a business or a guardian of the value for the things that we are building. And no matter if it is a product, project, whatever we are building, we need to understand the value or the problem that the client wants to solve by creating this, this, this value. And yeah, knowing the problem, knowing the solution to this problem, we need to be the one that keeps the ball running. And as, as uh, Hida had said, we, we need to be the brain that says, okay, that's our path and it's the correct path to solve this problem. Because maybe this problem is not the software that we are building. Maybe it's the only the improvement of the process. Maybe it's uh, it's something different. It doesn't have to be an IT solution sometimes. And uh, yeah, we work in an environment that we are a business analyst in the IT. So probably it's always some kind of a software. Uh, but I have experienced many times that it wasn't the software that solved the client problem. It, and it's also, uh, you know, it is also our part, our role to be involved in um, in um, phases called discovery, for example, uh, the, the design sprints, whatever they are called. Sometimes there, it's it's more valuable to be than only, you know, creating a backlog and trying to be a business analyst that's, works with the team and solves the problem uh, when it, the problem is already defined, yeah? That's, that's really interesting. And especially when we look at it today, people, when they define uh, the role of business analysts, we have that tendency to be the one creating backlogs, which is kind of a stereotype, you know? And this, this is not just irrespective of uh, the origin of the country, but it's it's a kind of the norm, especially when people see Agile uh, or Kanban or Scrum methodologies, whatever be the methodologies, oh, it's a BA, let that person do that. But in reality, what you are forcing and defining to the other BA role is that value in business. It's so that value of output that we bring exactly. to the plan, and which is... And, really and actually, what you, what you said, sorry, sorry to chip in, the backlog is only the artifact of our work. It's the same like a PM uh, do have a plan, but it doesn't have a plan in his head. He needs to have a chart for it to present the plan. Yeah. So, so the plan itself is, is worth it if it's in your head, <laughs> like the scope, etc. Yeah. So, the, 
for me, a backlog is some kind of artifact that I am creating. I'm responsible. I need to understand the priorities. I need to manage it. I need to have a clean, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, it's only a presentation of I'm doing the right thing. And this the, the right thing is solving the client's problem. Um, and that's it. Yeah. And as, as you said, the, the tools are there. If it's Jira, if it's CVSS, it's, it's again, something that you keep in mind that you have to present something. If it's a presentation, sometimes it's also fine. Sometimes the mock-up is even fine for the client. You don't have to create a, you should have created a backlog, but sometimes the mock-up itself is, a, or a sort of chart, it's it's even more um, relevant for this, uh, the conversations than, you know, the stories and and fully, uh, fully created backlog, uh, you know, pixel perfect one. <laughs> That makes completely sense. Definitely. Uh, j- just, just between commas here, PM, the best plan is without plan. Much better. 